Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today we're going to talk about Tax 7 in Luxembourg and is it actually a Tax 7? So let's get started. So basically, many of you ask me in the comments or even my friends ask me like, oh, but Luxembourg is a Tax 7, how come you pay taxes? So yeah, let's clear it out today a bit. What is a Tax 7? Why is it called this way? And what is actual taxes in Luxembourg? So usual tax for people who are gaining like a tax income in Luxembourg, personal tax income, is between 8 and 45% growing with your wealth. However, until 100k per year, you pay only taxes. No, you don't. You can pay only taxes with your payslip. So if you don't do the declaration until 100k, you accept what you've been taken away with taxes during the whole year of your work. After all, you have to pay taxes in the ranges between 8 and 45% progressive. But of course, there are some tax allowances and deductions within the year. The funniest or the more surprising one for me was deducting the cost of the cleaning services for your house. So for example, a cleaning lady. Then corporate tax in Luxembourg is relatively low because it's under 30% and to be precise, it's 24.94%. On top of it, can exclude some stuff for uh, research and development or intellectual properties and the stuff connected to dividends. So that already lowers, lowers, lowers the taxes. So you will see a lot of trainings in Luxembourg, mainly offers by the big or small companies, just because it's favorable for them to deduct them. Then you have bad, so bad added tax uh, that stands around 17% for most of the goods. Comparison, Poland used to be 21, now it's 23, I think, from a few years. Then there are a few items that are, there are three or 8% that is lower tax on uh, tobacco, alcohol, and uh, gas. So you will see a lot of people from the bordering countries coming to tank their car in Luxembourg. And also it follows the EU VAT uh, directions for cross-border transactions. There is no so-called wealth tax in Luxembourg unless some of the municipalities will decide to put the property tax on you, which usually still be quite low. The big advantage of Luxembourg is also the double tax treaties that are for cross-bordering countries. So you work in Luxembourg, you live in France, Germany or Belgium. If you come a certain amount of time to Luxembourg, you pay your taxes only in Luxembourg. You don't have to do double taxes. And then there are also some treaties on how the businesses are uh, uh, taxed in uh, Europe. So that's why many companies do use tax haven upcoming and having a headquarter in Luxembourg, certain amount of employees and using this as a tax advantage. The biggest company that comes to my mind is Amazon that has a headquarter in Luxembourg. And trust me, Luxembourg is not a place that was just picked because of great location and the uh, things that it offers. And it's also how many people work here is significantly good for Amazon towards taxes. Then you have amazing investment funds taxes that are basically either zero or like 1%. You don't really get any tax on the gains from the investment funds. So that's a huge advantage. And, uh, and also they are a form of exemptions or deductions from the normal tax. So it is quite favorable to do them here. So as you can see, individuals do have some advantages, but 45% if you're on the top of the you know, wealth on the top, you know, level of taxation, 45%, it's high. It would be one of the highest in Europe. Um, but for example, what I didn't know, we have relatively low tax on uh, social security and pension, which in many countries is very high and that hires the, um, the taxes that you pay with your monthly salary. So for example, these contributions are supposedly like, I think around 12, 13% while in France, I've heard, I didn't check that information. I've heard that it's above 20%. Uh, and uh, I think the healthcare system in Luxembourg uh, works slightly better than in France or in any other country in Europe because it's quite accessible and good. Now, why the companies are coming? So not even 25% normal tax with all the exemptions. So you have, uh, sorry, I have to look at my notes, but you have uh, Luxembourg participating in a exemption that allows companies to receive dividends, capital gains, and other income from qualifying subsidiaries without incurring additional tax, which is a huge advantage. And that's why you have some headquarters here. Uh, it reduces the double taxation, which allows the business businesses to just choose Luxembourg for taxation. Um, the banking secrecy law, which is not as secret as the one in Switzerland, but it's still relatively secret here. So that allows many investors, both individual and 
uh, companies to do their investments here. That goes to wealth management. That is also, as I mentioned earlier, quite cheap because of, the, for example, funds. But overall, in like wealth management has very very minimal taxes in Luxembourg. Uh, and for example, for the ta- for the capital gain tax, uh, for example, from dividends, bonds, or any other investment, if you hold a position for more than six months, you don't have to pay the tax on your gain, uh, even as an individual. For dividends received from the companies, uh, the tax is much, much, much re- reduced. It's 15%, but can be even reduced more or totally uh, eliminated, depending what is your tax situation. Then there is an interest income tax from, for example, bank deposits that should be 20%, again, can be reduced. For of fu- about funds, we talked already. And from 2018, real estate and inheriting it doesn't have any more taxes. So whatever you're going to inherit in Luxembourg, it's zero tax however to inherit something in luxembourg it's quite difficult because for example i am the first generation living here so if you inherit something in luxembourg you're not you don't have to declare it you don't have to pay taxes for it probably you have to declare it i would check it twice just to be sure uh, but you don't have to uh, pay any taxes which usually are quite high taxes if you ever had uh, if you ever had to look into it they are not low taxes and overall Luxembourg tries to make it all favorable for all the people who are coming all the companies who are coming for people to invest for the money flow being back and forth and then from all the taxes that you pay you use them wisely they use them wisely so all the social security taxes are used amazingly the social sec- the uh healthcare system works good the pension system is relatively good you have help for families you have help for unemployment and any and many more helpful stuff including free public transportation all the concerts and uh festivals that are in luxembourg for free uh, are from made from this money uh usually and um and then if you want to invest one day you're also going to have a favorable favorable rate uh for doing so and if you're a company that's also very good for you uh so yeah that would be it. I'm not a tax expert. So if you ask me some questions, I might not know the answers. I may try to look for them. Uh, and if you're interested in some specific task, I may, uh, tax, I may do some research. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below and I may, get, uh, may make another video. But if you enjoyed this video, I would be very happy if you would hit the like button. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm so this video will reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about Luxembourg living here, jobs, expenses and salaries. So if you enjoyed it, this type of topics and you don't want to miss any of my future videos, subscribe to my channel and here I leave you a video about economic and finance of Luxembourg and the Luxembourgish playlist. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you in another video.